Good morning, everyone. Halacha today is about the Shema. As you know, according to Jewish law, when the congregation says Shema, Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad, whether it's when they're davening in the morning, or whether by Shabbos when we do it in the Kedusha, Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu, when the Chazan repeats the Shema Ezrei, according to Jewish law, you must say it together with the congregation. Why? Because Shema means I'm accepting God as the king of the universe. And if I don't show that I'm saying it together with the congregation, it's almost like I don't accept God. So even if you're not holding at that part of the service, let's say you're behind, you still have to say the Shema with everyone. So let's say you came and you're holding Yishtabach. And then the, the congregation is holding Shema, you have to stop. Say Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokein Hashem Echad, Baruch Shein Kavam Echad, and then you can continue davening. Those two lines, Shema and Baruch Shein, you have to say together. However, this is, it depends where you're holding a davening. If you're holding anywhere before Yishtabach, then you should say the Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokein Hashem Echad, because you could interrupt with that. But if you already said uh, the brachas of Shema, Yotze Or, Baruch Hoshech, then you're not allowed to interrupt with the Shema, but you should say the paragraph you're holding in the same tune that the congregation is saying Shema. So, for example, if the congregation is saying Shema and you're holding uh, uh, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh by the brachas before Shema, so say Kadosh, Kadosh, the same tune and cover your eyes so people will think that you're saying Shema and they wouldn't see that you're not part of the congregation that's saying Shema. So even though you can't interrupt there, but since the congregation is saying Shema, you should cover your eyes and say Kadosh, 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 or whatever you're saying, that paragraph, whatever you're holding in the blessings between there. But if you're holding before Yishtabach, then you could say the Shema with them, because you can interrupt. But if you're holding after the blessings of the Yotzar, you should stop cover your eyes and say the paragraph that you're holding in the tune of the Shema, of the first verse only, so the people shouldn't think you're being separated. The same thing is on Shabbos. Let's say the congregation is already doing Kete, you know, by the Musaf, and they say, Shema Yisrael, Hashem, and you're in the middle of Shabbos. You have to stop, say Shema. The same thing on Shabbos when we open up the Ark, you know, we open up and, we, and the Chazan says, Shema Yisrael, Hashem, and you're holding the beginning of Davin, you have to stop, say the Shema, because you can't show or express that you're not accepting God as the King of the Universe. <laughs>